Well, hello. Hi there. I'm Dennis. Today, we're going to go through installing Octopi or Pomoc Dash AUR or Pomoc Dash Classic. Whichever one's your choice. But today, since this is XFCE and GTK based, I'm going with Pomoc. And we're going to show you how to do that. So I just installed this desktop on another, another video. And I know that Palmark or no other package manager is installed. And I hope we can see this. Let me see. You can see I hadn't even done any tweaking whatsoever to it. Alright, so we are online, so that's good. So I'm going to open up a terminal. And the first thing I'm going to do is just make sure that we've got all the packages that we're going to need, which we will because uh, I did this in the initial install. So we're going to say needed based eval. We're going to say needed get, needed WGET, and Yajal. Y-A-J-L. Go ahead and enter. And there's nothing to do. That's what I thought. Control L to clear the screen. Down just a little bit. Can I make that bigger? Not making it bigger. Huh. There we go. So now I'm going to CD into slash TMP, my temporary file. And now I'm going to say git clone space HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash a u r dot a r c a l i n u x dot org slash yay dot g i t hit enter okay so now i'm going to cd into yay and this is a two too big. Alright, so I'm going to say make pkg space dash si. Hit enter. And since we got all of those packages, man, look how big I made that. Proceed with installations? Yes. So we got made sure we had all the prerequisites. And now we're installing, making a package, or installing Yay, uh, Arch Helper Yay, Y-A-Y. -Y. And this will take just a few minutes. And it's probably a lot faster on a real hardware with more megs, more CPU. I only gave it two cores of CPU and four gigs of RAM. And it's in a virtual box. In other words, it's not going to be as fast as it could be. While that's doing that, I'm going to see. Settings, display. See if we can get something a little better going on there. That ain't going to work there. It's going to be something weird. Let's try that one. Not quite right. Let's see if that one works better. Almost. Uh, at least we got the whole screen. Okay, proceed with installation. Yes, please. Okay, so now we're going to give it a command. We got yay installed. Let's put it to work. Y-A-Y -Y space dash capital S. P-A-M-A-C dash A-U-R. Hit enter. And then we should have a, a choice of Pomoc dash A-U-R. 
UR or Pymoc dash classic. I'm going to select one. That's the one I want. Uh, if you was not on a GTK, you could, uh, GTK, uh, service, you could, uh, use, uh, Octopi. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to say yes to remove the dependencies after it, after the install. And I don't want to see any differences. And would I like to continue? So it's a 53 meg download, 215.37 megabyte install. So it's for, for everything that Palmic actually does, it's not a huge, huge download and install by no means. But Caden Live is bigger, I'm sure. Blender. GIMP, most of those are probably bigger than this as far as the actual install size goes. You can do it. I ain't even told the clock to. But I didn't like 24 hours of time. I just installed this XFCE desktop probably 20 minutes ago. Uh, maybe 30 minutes. Wasn't long ago. It says sources are ready. Starting to prepare. Compilation succeeded. Only one warning. This right here we can't read it. It's never been used. So it gives you a warning that it's not been used. And this one has been deprecated. Okay. We'll hit the exit button. Go down here, and this should be in system. Right there it is. Click on it, and there we go. First thing I normally do is go to my preferences. Of course, it's going to ask for your password. Even though I seldom use it, I do enable the AUR, and I turn this cache down to 2. And you can see when you get ready to clean your cache, all you got to do is come back to here, your preference, and hit clean cache, and it'll do it. So I'm going to say close. Now, the important part of this is to refresh the database. Once it gets through refreshing it, it'll have all the new stuff available to it. So, just for curiosity, I'm just going to say virtual box, just to see if it works. And boom, there they are. Now, I don't know how familiar you are with this. You, just may, you may be a noob just like I am. And, but if you click on repositories, this is the stuff that's basically in their repositories. If you click on AUR, this is stuff that they'll have to build, and this is what comes out of the dreaded AUR that everybody talks about. So use this sparingly, you, the AUR. If you need it, use it. It's a good idea to do a little investigation to find out when the package you're wanting to look at has last been updated. It could be, you know, years ago, and you may not need use it anyway but best bet is to stay in the repositories so let me close out of this video is complete we're going to say shut down and i thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on the next video bye